Yeah, you're away. Oh, yeah, that worked well. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm out in the garden today because it's sunny and fine and calm and I'd love to be flying but I can't. So I thought I'd just take a moment to come outside because it's, it'll rain eventually and I'll be wishing I'd spent more time outside. Anyway, um, today some footage from 2016, 2017. People you've seen before. Some people, if you're new to the channel, you won't have seen before. But a couple of questions to answer first. First one was, is that uh, people have been saying, where's Barry and where's Vaughan? Well, Barry and Vaughan are both in this video. Uh, Barry has taken up cars, fast expensive cars, you know, well no actually Holden's, but in this part of the world every car is expensive and compared to what we used to drive they're all fast. So yeah Barry's bought himself some cars and he's driving around the countryside, probably not now, not this moment because of the issues we're facing, but uh, so he's put, a, put the hobby aside for a while. I'm hoping that, uh, that he'll come back. He's high risk at the moment because he's got emphysema and a few other things so we just fingers crossed for Barry. And Vaughan, well Vaughan's had a couple of kids, you know, when you're young and you have a family it gets in the way of flying. It's understood, but we're hoping he'll pop out from time to time as time allows. Um, so yeah, but they're both in the videos you're going to see. Another question that's being asked is can I fly my drone, can I fly my model aircraft during this whole situation? And officially the answer seems to be no. Um, CAA in New Zealand have come out with a little statement, which you can see on the screen here, which basically says you can't fly over other people's property, you can't fly in a public area because you, you pose a risk of contagion. You know, if, you're, if your drone or your plane lands in someone's backyard, and you go and get it. Well, you could be invading their bubble, and if they give it back to you, well, I've picked it up and it's got your germs on it, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, you can understand that. You can understand that. So, I wouldn't recommend flying over other people's property. As far as public places go, well, you know, as long as you're not invading people's bubbles, theoretically, it should be okay, as far as I can see, because you're not spreading this thing any further than it's already spread. But to be honest, I think we all need to set an example for other people. There are some morons out there who think that if they see someone doing something in public, then they can go and get their ball or their um, start enjoying their hobby, their pastime out in public, and soon everyone will be out in the parks and would have the same problem that we're, you know, we're facing in some parts of the world. So yeah, I'd say just, I wouldn't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fly in the parks. Unfortunately, I'm very lucky here because I've got a big lake over the back, so I can fly over the lake. And if anything goes wrong, well, it's into the drone, but it does mean no one's going to be endangered by that. I have been flying out on the streets also early in the morning, as you can see in this footage. I got up at, before sunrise, thought I'd get some footage of the local town at that that um, that sort of twilight. Well, not twilight, is it? It's early in the morning hour, just before the sun came up. Looks lovely, beautiful. Nobody around, no risk to personal property because I only flew within 100 metres of myself and it was an area where if the drone had landed I could have picked it up without anyone getting in the way. So yeah, common sense, it's down to common sense, but I would say don't go to parks, don't go to, to your flying field, stay at home. Show, lead by example, show that you're a smart person because we need to knock this thing on the head as soon as we possibly can. Some guy in the UK was flying at a park, put a YouTube video up, put a link to that in the description of this video. He was approached by a PCSO, was a you know, community police officer, and she told him that he couldn't fly. I think he was a bit a bit, what would you call it, um, uh, he didn't have to be quite as um, challenging as he was. I would have just said, oh, thank you very much and moved on, but he wanted to make his point. And we're all entitled to our opinions and the way we handle things. So you go and have a look at that video, it's quite interesting. The comments have been turned off, I wonder why. Anyway, so now on with the video you came to watch. And remember, like this video, share it with your friends, you know, um, put it on your social media. I need the views and I think other people need the laughs. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. On with the video. What happened? Landing. Downdraft. Downdraft. <laughs> Downdraft. <laughs> yeah, bit of sudden gust of gravity, man. Look at these boys. They're almost like twins. It's like it's like a garden centre with little gnomes everywhere. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> no, you. It's a bit turbulent out there, right? Woo! Look at that. Whoa, that was a bit rough. Oh, right? no! Oh, no! What happened? Oh, no! Landing gear man! Six metre wingspan, he reckons. Look at that. Yeah. He's a tower of a man, is our Gordon, isn't he? Jeez. You having a crap, boy? He glides like shit. Why wouldn't it take off, mate? Shut up. <laughs> but altitude hold on, was it? Beautiful mate. I'm gonna make it longer. 
Is it? Is it the Chinese one? Yeah. It's made by wiping your ass. It's got the strainers on it. Hey. We'll see how long we can go before it's uncontrollable. You've become quite attached to all this toilet paper, haven't you, mate? Well, it's good. It's, it's, it's very dry, very comfy. Don't need to get caught on your leg when you're taking off, eh? Right, there we go. It's just a wiping effect. Get Barry to stand on it. Oh. Woo! Hey, it's still controllable, too. <laughs> hey, that's the first one of your planes. Two. That's Ron. Hey, Ron. Turn it on. No, to there. <laughs> this is going to be a bun fight, I tell you. Yes. Can these guys even read? Does, it, does any of this need to be turned on or what? And here we have the old people. <laughs> hey, the wheels have come off your mobility scooter, mate. What's going on there? Beautiful, Gordon. That's lovely. Oh, he's got cub with the retracts. That's fantastic. No, 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 Jason. You call him Josh. Oh, that's alright, I just Josh him. He's one of the Jays. <laughs> Jay, yeah. yeah. So, Barry, how did it go? <laughs> yeah, we need a new Barry. Yeah. Hey, yeah. We got the vehicle for him, eh, eh, Gordon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the Barry mobile over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's Roddy demonstrating how to use a tripod. <laughs> See, tripods give you a much steadier shot when you're filming. <laughs> right? Oh, hey. <laughs> it's, it's flappy paddle run cam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You're in this a bad way, mate. Wing. wing. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you get that from, Ron? Second hand shop. We've got a new member here today. He's bought his pimp mobile. <laughs> who could it be? Gordon, do you know who belongs to that car, mate? It's a pimp X. It's a pimp X, yeah. I don't know <laughs> how it would bring something like that here. No. 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 It's even sold. It, it, Whole $500. How many pimps today? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you won't come back yeah. from there. Big walk. Yeah. Oh, behind the hill. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. The Don't walk of shame. It's critical. Come on then. Yeah, you're always complaining about something. You get him. Ah, <laughs> oh, you missed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yep. Try it again. You might need to pull on some up, Gordon. I had it right up. Right up what? Like that. <laughs> I hit it like that. Nah, it's not going to fly. <laughs> Landed. Good's going to give it a cuddle and a polish. <laughs> I think this is the mini whoop, isn't it? Are you going to take it out of the van before you fly? <laughs> no. It's likely to cause damage if it stays in there, mate. Do we recognise the hat? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we've got to have, got to have a bit of flying. It's so cool. Look at all the snow. Yeah, right, yeah. Gordon. I needed a bit of down in mine. Did you? To keep it like little, those little furry feathers. <laughs> just the first <laughs> attempt. And what do you think of your bonsai, Tim? I think it's incredible. You like it, eh? I really like it. I love the innovative way you've mounted those receiver antennas. Returning from a walk across the walk of shame with his bonsai. Because look. <laughs> Everybody loves that bonsai. Show us, Phil. Bring it over here, mate. Show us how it looks. It's gorgeous. Out there's a bit of hot glue tape. Just streamlined. Just go and give it a cut. A little be fine. I'd get to the You. Five wire landing, mate. Oh, no, no, oh, that was lovely, Phil. What happened there? Oh. We're just testing the runway for durability. Gnomes are back. We've got different hats today. We've got fluoro gnome. And we've got Tim. That perfect landing from Phil. What, what, <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> so Neil's got the tailless AXN now. <laughs> Here he comes back. He can use those wheels on his mobility scooter now. Look at this. It's, you have to be a good runner if you buy this because it doesn't work. Th two new tires. A good shopping basket. Oh, actually, I think the little plastic bag I got for free would be better than this. $500 manual. What's that? Ridge and... Oh, what's ready? New WAF or Ridge? Radio. Wow. It is, it is a luxury car. Look at that. And look, it's got the two-tone. Well, it's got a pinstripe. <laughs> Let's go around the other side and look at the beauty of it. Well, it's got the rustic paint job. And the most impressive thing of all, it is two-tone. Look, that door is just gorgeous. How does that work? And it's got the uh, the painted wheel trims. <laughs> oh, Gordon, she's a beauty, mate. How many, how many Ks has it done? About 240 or something. Is it? it was lucky to get that far, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> Put the pointy end down, it seems to land better that way. 
<laughs> 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 <laughs>